So today we're speedrunning through Papa Louie 2 when burgers attack, an absolute classic flash game. Pick our name right here. Now the story for this game is pretty simple. We're just trying to go to work, go into Papa's Burgeria. You know, we're a pretty happy guy. It's free burger day. It's going to be a great day. We go to pick up our coworker. Everything's going well. And our burger shop has tons of customers because I mean, who's not going to take the free burgers? And hooray, it's just a great day for everybody until someone specific shows up and throws that in our tip jar. And yeah, then we get into a a whole new world where burger monsters start to attack us and we all get sucked in there and now our guys just kind of getting teleported all over the place because hey look we're in the fantasy land now and we have to save all of our customers because for some reason we were the only people that didn't get trapped the rest of them are in jail right now so we have to save them as well as do other quests to finish out the game and also save our boss papa louie so through this i'm just gonna have to do a bunch of platforming and there's actually a lot of cool stuff in this game but we start out in the first level with just some basic platforming there going to be weird monsters that are food. Yeah, I have no idea what world we got transported to, but I guess it works. And we can use some small strategies like killing these guys or just using some momentum to skip past some things. And it's basically just platforming to the best of my abilities. We also want to kill these burger monsters because to beat the final boss, first we have to get 25 different medallions. You can get that by saving other people, collecting things, or killing enemies. So throughout this game, we'll just be going and trying to do all of these things in the best way possible. Like there's a medallion right there. I can just take it and we can make it over here to our next checkpoint before we kill another burger monster. We need to kill a total of three burger monsters and we need to collect five medallions, which we can finish out just over here. All I have to do is slide, reverse my momentum, and then make my way to that medallion to finish that out before using a cool strategy for this burger monster where we can slide right there and it just kind of kills him. And there we go, we save one person, but we're not gonna watch the cutscene because we wanna quit the level. What this will do is when we go back in, we'll be at the checkpoint. So it saves us a lot of time because instead of starting from the beginning of the mission, we can start all the way over here because there's going to be one more person we have to save that's really close. So it just does not make sense to play through all this again. All I have to do is move to the right. And then there we go. We save her and her dog. Good for us. We finish out that part and we actually have to watch that cutscene and then quit out of the game, go back in so we can unlock level number two, which we're going to go with Marty again. But this is also going to be the last stage we use this guy because there's a lot of characters in this game and they all have different abilities. So as you will see throughout the run, some are more useful than others in different situations. But for right now, all we really have that's good is Marty, and he can do his job. He's not the greatest in the world. He doesn't have too many amazing abilities, but he is the first character. So what do you really expect? Well, we're going to be skipping past the burger monsters this time because there are 11 of them that we would have to kill. Instead, we're just going to focus on the flowers instead and also saving some people. So a cool thing about this game and all the routing for it is you have to decide. Okay, I did not want that to happen. But as I was saying, a cool thing about this game and the routing for it is you have to decide which of the missions are the best to get because there are 50 missions in total and we only need 25 of them. But now we can go down here, get this other flower because these ones are gonna be nice and quick. And yeah, we just gotta pick the quickest missions and go around and do those. Now we can climb up these ladders and now we get introduced to these balloons, which are just kind of flying here. And for some reason I can climb on them. Then I wanna jump between these birds to get this last flower. And we're doing pretty good for ourselves. We only need one more flower for the stage and I'm also kind of dying. Every time we get hit, we are gonna lose a tiny bit of time. But over the course of the entire run, Run, that won't really matter too much. Now we have a cool platforming section, which I actually really like. I'll just try my best not to ruin it because that would be really awkward. And then we slide down this place because that's going to be much faster and reach that checkpoint before going right back up so we can get our final flower, which I just have to do some more platforming. And we got all the daisies. Now we can finish out this area by just getting one more person. All we have to do is platform across some balloons. If my person wants to, please, I would very much appreciate you not messing up, dude. We have a pretty good run so far far. I do not want to ruin it. And I believe the last person is right around here. All we have to do is jump on these. And there we go. We got Big Polly. But of course, we're not going to watch the cutscene of us saving him. But we are going to use Big Polly. And of course, like before, we are going to get transported to the checkpoint, which means we can just come right over here and then do the rest of our stuff. I'm going to go right through there because that's Big Polly's ability. He can ground pound and destroy this brown material. I think that's brown. Whatever. He can just destroy stuff. So it's really nice to have. He doesn't have the greatest attack in the world, as you can see, though he kind of like throws this up which is sometimes weird to control but overall he's a nice character to have and we won't have to use him for too much longer i just have to go ground pound through there I try not to get hit by the okay please big poly just do your thing and there we go we save another one of these characters and watch the entire cutscene because we have to do it to continue then it looks like we are on mission three which we're going to use big poly on again and here's where things start getting cool because you can see we're in a completely different place and also we have this long cutscene that's not the cool part but i guess it's just 
part of it. But yeah, we are now in a completely new place. So now we have to deal with that. And it isn't too different in general, but the enemies are going to be a bit different. And there's going to be subtle differences here throughout, like these switches. They will open doors. Not every single one of them does one of those cutscenes. So I don't understand why any of them do, because it's just kind of annoying for the speedrun. But I guess not everybody's trying to speedrun this game, so I can't really complain. Now we'll make it through here. We have this guy, and we're trying to collect these golden hats so I can jump, ground pound on him, and get our new hat. Then we just have this burger monster we have to jump over. Again, we're not going to kill them. It would take 11 of them to do the mission, so it's just not worth it. Then we come over here. I do not want to get hit by that guy. Please move out of the way. And we'll jump over to my boy over here, which I will miss the ground pound. That was kind of embarrassing. And we have to wait out this guy before we can continue on. Some more burger monsters, just some normal stuff. But Big Polly's just doing what Big Polly does best, and that's murder. Yeah, he seems like a happy guy, but he is a hardened criminal. Anyway, now we can jump through these guys. I do not know how I did not just get hit there, but the hitboxes in this game are really weird. They kind of need to be because some of the platforming in this game isn't the greatest designed, but it is a ton of fun, so that's all that really matters. Now we can go through here. We will have to make it through this burger without dying. B Big Polly, please jump. There you go, bud. Yeah, you didn't have to do that to me, Big Polly. Waste me a tiny bit of time. Oh, and now we have balloons which move. So that's a nice moving platform for us. Then we can come over here, destroy that bird, wait for this next moving platform, which I can just jump to. And we get a tiny bit of a break where I can just crouch for a bit before moving on over here, doing some more crouching. I call it tactical crouching. And Big Polly is so scared, but I guess he should be because this is a very strange world. But now we can do some more. We see some birds over here. We can do another one of these slides to get that heart before going all the way down here and getting hit by that that should not have happened but hey we opened up another one of these doors which means we can get another free hat and the enemies really are starting to get interesting especially these bird guys like what are they even trying to do but i'm just gonna go through try to get a good cycle there almost get hit by that bird that was not part of the plan and now we have this burger monster who will actually damage boost me past him so that was really nice of him now some more waiting we can try to hit this bird but there's not really any purpose i guess i might as well kill him because it's kind of fun and as i did say big Polly is kind of a murderer okay i don't know why i'm smearing his name right now i kind of feel bad about it anyway let's just keep going we have this weird section where there's all this different stuff another one of these burger monsters and another place where big Polly is useful because we can do that yeah i feel like his butt really hurts after that but we're just not going to talk about it because we're almost done with this section and we're going to get one of the most broken characters in the game and her name is boomer yes for some reason it's actually boomer but the thing that makes her broken is she can fly you can probably guess why this would be useful in a platforming game because I no longer actually have to platform at least for a lot of places in the stages like I don't have to do anything hard over there then I can just fly past all of these balloons it's a nice day for me I don't even have to try anymore until we go and save Kahuna and he's gonna be nice and happy another stage done and we've been doing amazing so far I'm actually really proud of myself but of course whenever I say things like that that's when I start messing up so we'll just try our best not to as we go into stage number four now in this one it's pretty much in the exact exact same area they're gonna have the same gimmicks where they have this door opening mechanic but I got boomer so I am way too overpowered at this game now like seriously she is just so good I do not have to do anything I just fly past it and even with these parts she also saves sometimes because I can glide instead of having to do those jumps and that's always gonna be nice just saving that bit of time now we'll go through here there's some more weird monsters we get through this little section where of course I'm gonna get hit but I can glide and just make sure that I go to safety and yeah it's pretty much just some more easy platforming I mean, everything's pretty easy when you have Boomer. She's just overpowered. Look at her go. How do you even defeat this? I kind of feel bad for my opponents right now because like they set up these entire traps. They were like, they're never going to get past this. You know, we have the greatest defenses in the world. And then we got the flying girl. She just kind of cheats at the entire game. But now we have some people hopping to their deaths, you know, just kind of normal things in a Papa Louie game before just doing a bit more platforming. And don't worry because we're about to get to a really interesting part. All that we have to do is some platforming paths here which again we have boomer it is not the hardest thing in the world and we can just glide our way all the way over here before making our way to this checkpoint where we're actually going to quit out and switch to a different character we're going to be using kahuna because he has a gigantic surfboard and the reason he's really useful is he does a ton of damage and that's going to be important because now we're facing our first mini boss so for this guy all we have to do is hit him with our surfboard once if we were using boomer right now we'd have to hit him like four different times because she's really weak she's great at platforming she's just not the best at boss 
boss battles. But all I need is a couple more hits on this guy. He's just bouncing all over the place. I don't know what his problem is, but there we go. It was a nice and easy kill. He really was confident too. He thought he could beat me, but hey, now I saved this guy who is probably one of the weirdest characters in the game because he's so short that he doesn't even really fit in his picture. And he carries around a bag of money. This dude is a weirdo, but his special ability is he can crawl places. So for some reason, no one else can crawl like him. I guess it's because he's short, but yeah, he's just crawling with his bag of money. And yeah, that's his entire purpose. Gotta love how you got to get this specific character just to do a basic function. But the good thing about him is he will give us a very quick rescue. Like this next person is literally just right here. Who's a very weird person. Like, look at him. What does he do? What is that hat and that get up? Unfortunately, we won't be using Fudini at all, but you know, it would have been cool if we did. We're going back to Boomer because of course we need more platforming challenges. You know, if you got a platform, you might as well use Boomer. We start out with this slow descent where we can't move at all. It's kind of annoying. And then we get in this area where we can see why Boomer is even better than I was really saying before. Because her gun, while it isn't the strongest thing in the world, it can deal with smaller enemies really easily. Especially with these burger monsters. It literally just like kills them so quickly. So that's why for this stage, we are going to be killing the eight different burger monsters. It's just so fast when you're using Boomer. I also have to make sure I can shoot all the rest of these people because I really do not want to let them kill me, please. There's some really annoying birds in this stage too, who will knock you back and make you lose a ton of time. So I'm very careful around them. Also, we get another Boomer section where, yeah, hooray for Boomer, before she can kill this burger nice and easily. And hey, look, it's more difficult platforming sections, but <laughs> is it really difficult when you have a girl who can fly and also just kill everybody with a couple taps? Yeah, I don't know how she got this gun or if it's really legal, but it really seems to help me out. So I'm gonna take it. Now I can do some bounces all the way over here, just do some more platforming. For some reason, these animals are really bouncy and we just take advantage of that. I kind of feel bad. I hope they're not like getting injured by us stepping on them, but I guess everything in this land is our enemies. Now we can make our way through these guys who try to crush you. They're kind of weirdos. I don't know if they're supposed to be like marshmallows or what that's supposed to be, but it is interesting. Before killing another burger monster, it's always gonna be the easiest thing in the world. And just a bit more platforming with our girl Boomer. Also, I am going to skip that checkpoint right there because once we spawn in later, we wanna use the earlier checkpoint. So that's a pretty interesting strategy you can use in this game. And it makes it pretty cool, but a bit more dangerous because every time you make it to a checkpoint, it fully heals you. So I gotta play more carefully to make sure I don't die because that would kind of be bad. But the level's almost done. We defeated all of our Burgerzillas. We just have to make our way through here. There's some more weird enemies. And then we can save this person, which is going to be Scooter. And Scooter is another character that is very overpowered. First of all, Scooter has a double jump, which is always gonna be amazing. But she also has one special ability that you won't see until the end of the run. So I'm just gonna make you wait for that because it is a very cool ability once we get to it. For now, we're just gonna focus on the double jumping ability, which is gonna be nice because it gives us a ton of height, allows us to do things like this. And hey, we rescued another guy. Now, even though Scooter is very useful, she won't be useful for a bit longer because we're going back to Boomer. I mean, again, Boomer's just amazing at platforming. What else can I say? Sometimes you get a pretty good character, but why not use the greatest character? Also, why did I just get stuck in goo? Okay, that was not supposed to happen. Oh, uh, there's some weird parts of this game, aren't there? But I guess that's some of the charm of it. I mean, we're literally fighting against burger monsters. What else could you want? Now for this, we just have some pretty general platforming where I'm trying not to get hit. Okay, no, please stop. Okay, I really do not want to die here. I'm going to play this kind of safe. Please stop, burger monster. I'm just going to be safe right here because I very much do not want to lose this run. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's just make it to the next checkpoint and forget about it. <laughs> Oh, that is very relieving because if I die, it is such a time loss and I don't want to deal with that. But with Boomer, we're pretty much just going to go through the map, try to make our way, get hit by a couple of different things. And the only real objective we want to do other than saving people for this map is going to be getting the balloons. We don't have to care about the burger monsters. So there's some pretty neatly placed balloons like this one where we have to fly over here. And then there it is. Okay. That one's sometimes hard to get because it's really hard to see. But as long as you're playing it pretty well, it'll be fine. Also, we have people chasing after me. Please leave me alone. I also want to make sure I don't get that checkpoint either, which I almost just got. And please climb up the ladder, Boomer. But we're going to use the same strategy as last stage in a little bit. For now, we're just going to fly over though, and we can make it to another one of these balloons. And for some reason in this stage, the balloons are all clumped into one specific area. So I can fly over here, get this one. And then I just, okay, oh, don't, don't miss that Boomer. And then we can fly again and get the other one. Please reach that. Okay. That was way too close. But yeah, we just got all those balloons in very quick 
six a session. So I don't know why three are right there. But hey, it works out for me. We have another checkpoint we have to skip past. Some more things and glue things that are trying to murder me. Please stop. Okay, well, I guess that works. That kind of made me go fast. But now we can finish out over here where we just want to fly to get this one last balloon. And all we have to do is save another person. Also, we have some weird mushroom monsters who are trying to shoot me. They're not the nicest people in the world. But I guess like I've said before, nothing is. All these things are awful. Also, okay, that was even more awful. I do not want to die. I guess I have two hearts, but this has been a really good run. So I just don't want to lose it. Anyway, let's just make our way through here. See, okay, good thing that I was playing it slow earlier, I guess, because this is so scary. Okay, at least there's a heart here. So we should be okay. I do. Okay, another heart. Thank you very much. Just let me make my way through. I'm just trying to finish out the level. Save my friends. Is that too much to ask? And it's not because now we save this person. Their name is James and their special ability is they carry around a plunger. Yeah, I don't even know what to say anymore. I guess he's a janitor, so it does make sense. But like, why a plunger, man? But I guess that part doesn't really matter. Now, the cool thing about James actually is that he can push rocks. Yeah, that's his entire personality. That and the plunger, at least. So he's the only one that can push these big rocks. And that's going to be really useful because we have to push the rocks, obviously. So we're going to use him to push these, do some platforming we need to do with them, and make our way through the rest of this level. We can unlock that gate right there. There's some pizza worker that's just sitting there, sad. And then we can finish out right here, make sure we kill that guy with our plunger attack. And it's just a little more platforming that we have to make our way through. Okay, please kill the guys. James, James, James. Yes, I did not want you to die. That was a little too close buddy please don't do that again but hey we made it through another stage and this run is going amazing so far i'm really hoping that i won't ruin it but we'll see about that we're gonna use scooter again because the skateboard will be very useful in these next few levels because of course we get the double jump and in this one we have quicksand which makes your first jump a lot worse but since we have the double jump we'll be able to basically just have a regular jump that's obviously going to be really helpful as we make our way through and we can just use our skateboard attack as well scooter's just a good character in general and i haven't even gotten to the point where scooter is really useful that'll happen at the end of the speed run so just wait for that because it's actually amazing but we can just go through here we'll have some more enemies that we have to make our way through i did not need to get hit by that but it doesn't really matter because i'm pretty sure there's a checkpoint right there thank you very much and now we have these bacon enemies <laughs> that we have to make it through yeah they just are like bacon and you have to step on them to kill them they're really weird people but scooter's gonna be really useful because we can just double jump over all the stuff also there is a lot of stuff in these later stages because the game really wants to kill you at this point. I mean, I guess the game always wants to kill you because that's kind of the fun of it, but it really ramps up the difficulty here because there's so many different enemies and there's a lot of variety as well, which I do appreciate. Now we can just make our way through here. Normally we'd have to use these balloons, but I'm scooter, so I don't really care. And then we have another one of these guys, which we can just jump on like usual. You know, scooter kind of just does whatever scooter wants to do. Okay. I have to be a bit careful over all these bacon monsters, all these things that are trying to murder me all the corn in the background i guess i don't really have to be careful in the corn in the background oh yeah and that's a cool glitch i just used so if we swing as soon as we hit the bacon monster then we can go through the wall i wasn't expecting to get it right there i'm not gonna lie but it saves me a bit of time now we just have to wait out this bacon guy who you can't make go any faster because of course we have to step on him to damage him and he has a ceiling over his head so he's pretty safe we can't really do anything against them except for just wait here and then finally be able to move again but that is fine we can skip some more gameplay by using the double jump ability. It's always just going to be a beautiful thing. And then finally make it to the checkpoint, which is going to be our last checkpoint for this level. Make it over that, I guess get hit there. That wasn't supposed to happen, but that should be fine. We just have to make sure I play this well. I'm going to kill these guys because they are some of the most annoying enemies in the game. They can really just ruin your entire run. And I don't really want that to happen right now. So sometimes you just got to play a bit more safe just to make sure everything is going to work out for you. But now I can go over here. There's some more bacon monsters but I want to make my way on this balloon so I'm nice and safe. Do some more platforming over here and we're going to the left. I do not want to fall down here because that would lose me a ton of time, especially because we're at the end of this part where we're going to get Ninja Girl. And you'll see why Ninja Girl is useful in just a second because now it's time to use her. Now right here, we're going to want to head to the left for a tiny bit. And the cool thing about Ninja Girl is she can jump off walls. So as you can see, this normally not available to jump on platform is now easy because we have Ninja Girl. And also I'm just destroying 
<laughs> okay, let's just do this correctly, please, Ninja Girl. Sometimes it's kind of hard to time these jumps, but this is a not very dangerous section, so we're probably gonna make it through nice and easy. All we have to do is jump over a couple more of these guys. Okay, you did not need to do that, dude. And we make it to the end where we can save the cowboy girl, Peggy. There is only one more stage before we make it to the boss stage, so we are doing amazing right now. I just need to keep it going, and now it's time for level eight. For this one, we want to use Scooter again because the double jump's gonna be really useful, especially because it's a level where you just gotta go up. So I'll be using my double jump to make sure that I can do all this upward momentum stuff. I'll also kill these guys with my skateboard. And yeah, we're just going up for a little bit, making sure that everything works out. Please, Scooter, jump over the things. I'd really appreciate that. Some more bacon monsters who I very much do not want to get hit by, but overall, not the worst level in the world. Then we make it to there where we can get the checkpoint. And of course, it's another level with all the quicksand. So you can see why Scooter is going to be useful here. All we have to do is make sure she's able to survive and also hit a bunch of bacon. Now, there's also going to be this area, which is really annoying because there's so many different enemies that can hit you. But if you play it pretty well, you should be fine. Before then, making it to here where we hit this guy down, make our way down that ladder and press this button, which is the first button we've seen in a while. And then there's just a couple more of these enemies we have to make it through. We hopefully won't get stomped by those guys. And we just have a fun section where we get to jump on these things again. Still, I'm not sure if we're hurting them, but I guess we just don't have to care at this point. And we get a section where normally you'd have to be on the ladders, but we have scooters. So who cares about what you're supposed to do? Okay, so let's play this a little smart. Just make sure that all these enemies will die. And then we climb up this ladder and we use a really cool skip here where we're gonna jump, wait a second, and then jump again. So we jump off his head and skip a really large part of the level. That's actually such a cool trick. I love it so much. Before now waiting for this bacon guy, because of course he's gonna take forever. And we'll also kill that guy on the ladder so we can make our way down this. And yeah, just move our way throughout the rest of this level. Okay, I did not want to get shot there, but let's go. Let's just keep doing this. We now have this guy who is very annoying. He's going to try to murder me. I have one heart. I want to be very safe here. Okay, now I have another heart, so I'm fine. <laughs> Being on one heart is always very scary, and I'm on one heart again. It's fine. It's fine. I just have to not mess this up. There we go. Thank you very much. I have a checkpoint now. Oh, like I said, it is not a good feeling to be at one heart. Your heart kind of drops because you're like, I really do not want to lose this run right now, but we're playing through it smart. All we have to do is jump over. Okay. I might have to use this balloon now that I'm thinking about it. This bacon is in such an annoying position. Dude, come on, die. You're losing me time. I don't have time for you to lose me time. What just ha are you? How did that not kill? The are I am so disappointed. Okay. Well, sometimes you die in a place where you really shouldn't die. I do not know how I feel about that right there. We're so far into the run that I am going to continue it, but that is not the greatest feeling in the world. It's only going to lose me about 30 seconds realistically, but oh, it just does not feel good. Uh, come on, Scooter, please do not mess this up again. Let's just make our way through, dude. Okay, this time killed. That was what was supposed to happen. I don't know how it didn't last time. And then this time eh, we were right at the end of this part whatever let's just move on quit the level and go back in with the ninja girl at least the last two areas we need to go to are extremely fast so we should be fine on those parts i just got to make sure i don't mess things up make my way on this balloon and at this point we can't get into the quicksand anymore because if we do we don't have the double jump to save us so i actually have to be careful in this game but it's not the worst thing in the world i can just make my way onto this balloon do a couple of my wall jumps and we get our next person which there we go we got rico now and i need to remember to hit the menu i almost did didn't and that would have lost me way too much time and now it's time to go back to money bags to finish this out yep we're using this guy again he is just the greatest so money bags just has to make it through a little bit of platforming which platforming isn't really his strong suit or is pretty much anything in this game but he can do what he needs to do we have to kind of get lucky with the bounce right there thank you very much then we can make it up here and all we have to do is crawl through the rest of this level yep my dude is just crawling through here it's just kind of his thing i love how this is such a long section where you can't do anything to speed it up. You're just kind of crawling. But there we go. We make it to the end right there. And that is going to be all the rescues we have to do. Now it's time to beat the boss, which of course, like I was hinting on earlier, we are going to use Scooter and you will see why Scooter is so useful in just a second. But before that, we get one more cutscene, which is really high definition. I don't know why it looks so good compared to the rest of the game. I mean, the game looks good in general, but it's like a better res. It's weird. But all we have to do for this first phase is just kind of 
to jump on him, hit him with our skateboard, and hooray, we beat the game. But oh no, we didn't actually beat the game. Wow, I can't believe this. Yeah, it's time for another platforming section, and the spikes that are on the ground, those are now coming after me, because they want to murder me, so I just have to do some good platforming. This is, first of all, why we want to use Scooter, because, I mean, who is better at platforming than Scooter? Also, please glue thing, please. Oh my gosh. Come on. That was way too close for comfort. I almost just destroyed myself. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, Scooter is good at platforming if you're also good at platforming. And we make it to the end right there, where it's now time to face off against the final boss. Now, you can't really do too much to speed this up at the beginning. All you have to do is wait for him to try to shoot you with his barbecue sauce. We hit it, and then it just kind of dies. We'll come over in this section. Just kind of wait again. You know, he has a barbecue sauce attack. Yep, you do your thing, man. But finally, after this attack, he's gonna try to shoot us with mustard we can hit that and then we have to jump on him which please jump on him and then i double jump hold down and i one hit ko him i don't really know why that works i think it's the same function as sliding but it doesn't really matter because we beat the game 33 42 which now we get a chance to see all of our favorite characters going through these are all the people we saved and there are still plenty of more people who we haven't saved so that's kind of sad but these are the important people we don't really care about the others yeah what a beautiful array of people all finished out out by Papa, we finally saved his life. And we get this little end card where you get to see all the people you saved. And hooray, we did it. Even though a lot of these people literally did nothing. I didn't use most of you, but I guess you get some of the credit. And if we look on speedrun.com, we'll see that we landed at ninth place. Honestly, not the greatest in the world, but this game is surprisingly competitive. I seriously don't know where I would save eight minutes. But hey, I ended with a pretty good time and I'm happy with it. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm and I'd really appreciate it. Also check out my other videos. I do a lot of cool content on this channel so if you enjoyed this video you might enjoy my others and if you do subscribe. But enough shilling. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next time.